are you preparing for your IT defense and you're looking for a way to prepare a stunning IT PowerPoint defense slide, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to uh, take you through how to prepare a captivating PowerPoint. You know, your IT defense, we, your mark, the mark you get from your IT defense, we also accumulate from the way you prepare your PowerPoint. So PowerPoint slides are crucial parts of your IT defense, your IT defense. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you through how to prepare a stunning PowerPoint slide that we get you on stage. All right, so I'll be using this sample right here to do that. I'll be using this sample right here. Now, you just follow through. There are different formats of uh, preparing. There are different uh, formats you can use to prepare your IT slide. So there is no one single recommended format. But I'll be going. Uh, I'll, I'll be using this to demonstrate this. To demonstrate this. All right. So now this is how your your cover page should look like. This is how your cover page should look like. So you have something like this. This is how your cover page should look like. So the name of the university should be there. Like in this format, I'm using this University of Port Harcourt, the faculty, faculty of science, department of biochemistry. So you put your university name here. You put your faculty here. You put the depart your department here. Then just below that, you put student industrial work experience scheme in brackets CWS. You know that is the full meaning of CWS and seminar presentation. That's, that should be the title there. Then on seminar presentation on, you put your topic. That topic, you know, maybe your de depending on your department, you must have been given a, a particular topic to defend on, to, to defend on. Now, that topic is what you put here. For this sample, urea test and electrolytes, that's the undertaking act. So where you did your IT, that's your place of IT, you put it here. So undertaking act, you put it here presented by you put your name and your math number here put your name and your math number your name and your math number so you put your name and your math number then hold on then here just below here course title so you put the course title the course title here is industrial training that's the course title now the course code depending on your department the course title to differs for biochemistry your course title i think is bch4 bch325.2 i think so so you confirm your course title then your course coordinator you put the name of your course coordinator right here name of your course coordinator right here so this is how your cover page should look like this is how your cover page should look like now the next slide is your outline of presentation and just like i said earlier there is no definite format to say okay this is how your outline of presentations will look like no but this is just a suggestion this is how a, a, a way it should look like an ideal way it should look like now outline of presentation maybe after this i'll show you other powerpoint slides i did for it presentation maybe not just this one so you can see different formats you can use to do that now outline of presentation what do you want to talk about in your it presentation and this is what mo everybody must know because you know your IT defense, you are not going there to tell them stories. You are not going there to uh, tell them stories of uh, theory and the rest. You are going to teach your lecturers. You are going to be practical as much as possible. So you are not going there to be telling them what happened in 1960 and the rest. So you are going straight to the point. They don't even give you enough time. Most time, most uh, departments, they give them just seven minutes. You defend in five minutes, they ask the question in two minutes or so, you get? So you don't even have enough time. So you just have to utilize your time wisely. And your outline of presentation, introduction, introduction. You know, this video, I'm just talking about slide preparation, how to prepare your slide. I'll do another video on how to present how to go about your it defense how to defend when it comes to that day so to that time for now prepare a very good it defense slide first then i'll do another video on how to defend how to defend how you are going to greet how you are going to use your slide to talk how you know some person will just go there and read through their slide and no that's not it so a video will come up for that so for now so introduction 
you put your introduction there every slide deep no matter how your topic is no matter what your topic is there must be an introduction there must be an introduction the next thing is then you now put segments of what you want to talk about like in the topic i'm using in this sample i said urea test electrolytes urea test and electrolytes and conclusion you see how short it is then i put a captivating uh, uh, image here captivating image you know your slide should not be boring your slide should not be boring because if your slide is boring the lecturers or the persons you are defending to will lose interest so that's that then i went on to introduction i wrote introduction and as you can see there's a bullet point here i have bullets here i have bullets here i have bullets here your introduction should not be your in fact your slide it, it, they call it powerpoint for a reason it should not be word point like pack it, pack it with words no it shouldn't be that way you don't pack your powerpoint with words like too much words no that, that's not how it's supposed to be so introduction like in this i said urea test and electrolytes are important blood tests that help diagnose various health conditions i come down again just point 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 like a brief introduction you get then after the introduction i went on you remember in my outline of presentation i said introduction and the next i said urea test so after the introduction slide i went down to say urea test i put small small point on the urea test put image where possible i come to the next one i come to the next one like that just be breaking them down that way that way you put image where necessary where necessary then at the end you put a conclusion you put a conclusion so you conclude then references some persons miss out here you must put a reference good reference so you must put a reference of what you are of where you get your information from then finally thank you for listening thank you for listening so there are different ways i will show you very quickly how to pre how to prepare this something like this but before that before i show you how to prepare something like that let me show you another powerpoint slide here okay